This episode of Mobile Geeks is brought to you by Carbonite.com. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we have the Google Nexus 7 tablet. If you were lucky enough to get one for Christmas and you don't really know what to do with it, I'm going to walk you through a couple of things that I think you should definitely check out. If you pull down from the left, you can see that there's a whole bunch of notifications. I'm just going to get rid of these. That's great. If you pull down from the right, you can kind of access your settings. Now, one of the things that I like to turn on is the auto rotate. So you can see that it's locked or not. And I like it because I'd like to be able to use my tablet in landscape mode. Now, you notice I tipped it forward, and that actually helps to activate the gyroscope because I don't want to move the tablet around too much while I'm making the video. So that's the first thing I think you should do to take advantage of both orientations. The next thing I think you should do is you should head on over to Google Play and pick up SwiftKey. So SwiftKey is an application here. I've already installed it. And the reason why I like it is I'll head, over, head on over to Gmail and let's say let's write it, write a email. Now if I put it into landscape mode, you can see here that it has a thumb typing keyboard. I think this is really quick and like a really nice orientation to, really, like, to help me really fly through my emails. So the next thing I think you should do, keeping on the email train, would be to head, in, head on over into the settings. Now scroll down until you see accounts. So if you go in there, then you can see that we have email. Now this can set up any type of email and it's really, really easy. So make sure that you're putting everything into this tablet so you can access all of your information. I think that's gonna be really great. In the same vein, um, let's see, Facebook, I set up Facebook. Uh, maybe Path, maybe Twitter, whatever it is you want, I'd say activate all of your social networks so that your tablet becomes like a really rich content-laden device. The next thing I think you should do is set up your home screens. Now this does come with five home screens. Now over here I've put my entire email here on this one home screen. If I don't like that, I hold it down and I can remove it. Now I'll show you how I did that. Now let's go on over into the applications. Now there's some widgets here. So let's scroll through the widgets. And so here's the Gmail widget. I want this one. There we go. And then you can decide whether you want what you want to show up. So let's do my priority inbox. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of hold it down a little bit and then you'll see that there's a, some squares. Now you can drag this out to customize it to any size that you want. So it really does take advantage of that. So then there we go. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now you'll notice that I have set up the dock. Now Facebook didn't automatically come down there. It was, if we open this up, it was Chrome and Google Plus. Now you can see that we can have folders within here. So how you do that is you hold it down and you just drag one icon on top, oh, I missed, one icon on top of the other, and then you can drag Facebook or whatever application you want in there. Now since this dock doesn't change through all of the screens, you should really think about what types of applications you want in there and what you're really gonna use because you can really customize this for exactly how you like it. Now you're not always gonna have Wi-Fi everywhere that you go, and one handy thing is, let's say, let's go into Maps, and let's say that I'm going home to Toronto, Canada. Now, three dots on the upper right. Let's say make available offline. Let's zoom in just a little bit more, because we don't need to know what's going on with the lake. So let's say we want that. There we go. Then you just click Done. And then it's going to cache the entire area for offline use. So that's also really handy because Wi-Fi isn't everywhere. Now with any new tablet, you're going to want to show off, right? How are you going to do that? Let's play some games. I mean, Dead Trigger, if you like zombies, this is going to be the game to show off the graphic potential of the Nexus 7. Now you can see the raindrops hitting the display. And you can see you can just start shooting the zombies. So you can really see the graphics potential of this. Now, if you don't like zombies, so now Temple runs a game where you are being chased by monkeys. You can see them there behind me. Oh, hit a tree. Now, if you ever want to close any applications, you can just press that button and then just slide these off. So that's, you don't want too many open. It'll drain your battery a little bit quicker. So now what about listening to music? Now we can hit this headphones down here and this will show you all of your music that is loaded on the tablet. Now if you want to stream something, I am totally addicted to SoundCloud, 100% 
adding. So now I've taken the time to follow some different people. So these are all their new streams or all of their new um, mixes. And then I have all of these mixes that I've said that I've liked. And I actually go back here quite often to listen to stuff that I've already, already know about. But it's a really good way to discover new music as well. But the best one for new music for me is actually 8-tracks. I totally love this one. And it really kind of very quickly determines where, like, what your musical trends are. And so it's just randomly you'll start to discover really amazing mixes. So those are the two that I would definitely recommend for them. Before I tell you where I find all of these cool applications, why don't we hear from our sponsor? I know we've all had that moment where you wish you backed up. And even if you're using an external hard drive, that won't help you if your house burns down or you forget to plug it in on a regular basis like I do. Carbonite.com will back up your data for only $59 a year, which is less than $5 a month. And if you use the promo code MobileGeeks, you'll get an extra two months free. So why don't you give Carbonite.com a try and use the promo code MobileGeeks to start your free 15-day trial. If you don't know about apps, I suggest that you get Tablified Market. So if you head on in here, you'll see that this is all tablet applications. So all applications that are made to take advantage of this large screen size. Because if you start downloading, you'll start to see that maybe there's not as many apps that take advantage of the full real estate. And you can see there's a whole big list here. Editor's Choice, Fun, Social, Student Essentials, Apps for Work. So I mean, definitely come here so you can really kind of figure out what applications are for you. Now what about reading news? Google Currents is fantastic. So let's head on in here. This was one of the last articles that I was looking at. So this is some great photos. If we head back in here, so news from less than a minute ago. And you can see it has a really nice format for kind of perusing what's going on. Current events, you can choose design. Uh, really, really strong application. Now Flipboard is another great one. This was on iOS for a very long time and has finally made its way through to um, Great cover stories uh, through to Android. So this is another really good app for reading news. Uh, one that I really like is Feedly. I use this all the time because uh, Feedly is like a magazine stuff uh, app for your Google Reader. So these are all the websites that I like that I've been following for years and years. So my exact feed has been placed in here, which is really great. And of course, if you want paid content, Zinio is a very strong option. You actually pay for magazine subscriptions here. So I mean, it's, it's magazines that you would usually see on the stand. So you can see you have options to pay. So if you're looking for paid apps, you can definitely kind of head in here. The very last thing that I'm going to recommend that you do for your tablet is you head on over here into settings, and then you go to users, and then you can actually put owner info. So if you've chosen to do a lock screen, you can actually say Nicole's tablet, and then you can put an email or whatever so people can possibly return it to you. So that is one of the last things I'm going to recommend that you do with your tablet. So I am Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a quick look at some of the things that I think you might want to do with your Google Nexus 7 tablet. Yeah.